Thanks for staying with us. Today is United Nations Day of Women and Girls in Science. Are they mainly used to explore ways society can work towards providing equal opportunities for males and females to pursue careers in science and technology? Joining me now in the studio to talk more on the essence of the day is Dr. Rose Maxwell Gidado, Country Coordinator of Nigeria. It's nice to have you in our studio. Thank you. All right, now um, a lot of women are interested in science, but most times they're exclu excluded from participating in science. Why? Um, I don't know. Are they excluded? Yes. Um, I don't think they are excluded. Okay. Um, I think we all have the right. Women have the right to study science. They have the right to life. They have to, the right to everything. Um, it's just that science sometimes, you know, is being seen as um, something which is very difficult and then it's time consuming and you know that as women especially the married ones if you really have to uh, go into science you have to give it time and as a married woman who takes care of children and all it's it's really very difficult some of us that are into it i mean sometimes like um it's it's not an easy thing at all so uh, but a matter of exclusion, I don't think so. I don't think they're being excluded because that freedom is there. Okay. We have girls' schools, you know, secondary schools, especially here in Nigeria. We have the federal government girls' colleges. That at least um, is something that federal government has really made I mean, efforts to, 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 to give us that, you know, um, distant freedom to go into, you know, education, to read, to, to learn, to read the sciences and all. But because you know science is really right from the secondary school, um, it's it's you a time subjects. you pick subjects. But yes. when it comes to picking subjects, you know, um, the girls most of the time they run away from the science because of the drudgery in it. Okay. You know, you have to read, you have to read very hard, Research. you have to cram those those scientific words are very difficult. You have to go into experiments in the lab and what. And so, um, I don't know, most, uh, I mean, most of the time, the girls uh, seem to um, okay. run now away from science. Okay, now we know they have an opportunity. It's free. You can, you can pick up a course yeah, you can pick up a course. sciences. Yeah, yeah. Now, so nobody excludes uh, anyone from it. The question is, mm -hmm. are women and girls really given the opportunity to participate in science? Yeah, we are given the opportunity to participate um, in science, at least by exposing us to science courses. Okay. Because once you start your, your secondary education, and when you get to some level, to some class, either a Form 3, you know, or SS3 or SS4, then you're given opportunity to choose to make a choice. And it is your own choice. And it depends on the efforts you have been putting in right from the, the beginning. Like I told you, there's so much drudgery in science, you know. Um, those scientific words, those Latin words that you have to crime, you have to read books, you have to always be studying and all and that. Uh, it's, I think the choice is us, but the difficult, um, science is seen as a very difficult uh, subject. Okay, now a, a survey by UNESCO in 2016 show that, it shows that 30% uh, of researchers worldwide are women. Is this figure not law? The figure is quite low. Okay. I think it depends on when uh, they carried out that survey, and uh, it, it depends on, um, uh, can I say, maybe the number of areas they reached across to. But I think worldwide, to me, it is low because I know we have so many women who have excelled in sciences, who are into sciences. We have many, so many of them. I think it's, it's quite low. Okay. It could be more than 30%. Yeah. 30%. No, so how can we increase the figure? How can we change the narrative? Yeah, we change the narrative, of course, through um, awareness, you know, creation, talking to people about science. I mean, um, you know, carrying, I mean, doing sensitization, sensitizing um, the, the women, I mean, the girls, the world, and encouraging them to go into science. That is not really drudgery. We, and then we have to use uh, those women who have excelled in the field of science, who have really made significant contributions, you know, we have to give them role models, like to use those people as their role models. Like in Nigeria, you could see Dora Akunyili, who was a pharmacist um, of late, Dora Akunyili of late memory, who was a pharmacist. She really brought NAVDAC, you know, NAVDAC 
to where it is today. Yes. Yeah. So, and that's something, you know, um, that we can use. Not just her, but there are so many women, Grace Alele Williams and so on and so forth, the big, big women. And even today, we, we have other women, like in Nigeria, who are carrying out research, breakthrough research. We have Professor Adebambo, who is uh, from Lai Adebambo, from Lai Adebambo, who is uh, in, um, in, in Abeokuta, in University of Agriculture, Abeokuta, yes. who has made significant contribution, a groundbreaking research, mm -hmm. you know, and so on and so forth. We could use those women to the as I mean, to use as a uh, role, role model. And All right, uh, Dr. Rose, I'm sorry. This is the much I can take from you. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks so much for having me here. I've been speaking with Dr. Rose Maxwell-Gidado. She's the country coordinator of Nigeria.